It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Last of Us Part 2. This is going to be my trailer breakdown for the latest trailer that they released, which was called The Story Trailer. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. So the trailer starts with these flashbacks, I think. So we have Joel and a younger version of Ellie. They're just walking in the streets. Now this, I think, has been taken directly from the first game. But in the voiceover, we have Joel saying, I know you wish things were different. And then we have this shot. This clearly shows that this is from the first game. So it's like a flashback. Not sure if this is part of the game, whether they're going to have some sort of a flashback sequence or whether this is just for the trailer but we have of course Joel and Ellie here and then we have this shot of Tommy I think and Joel they're on horseback and they're riding into this town I think this might be Jackson on another part of the trailer Tommy does mention Jackson and leaving Jackson vulnerable which we'll get to but I think this might actually be Jackson and then we have this shot of Joel this is a pretty cool shot He's just playing the guitar. Now this does connect to something that was in another trailer. I think this was like one of the first trailers that they released where we had Ellie playing the guitar with all of these dead bodies in this house. Now at the end of that sequence in the trailer that we got a while back, we did have Joel show up watching Ellie play the guitar. So this could be a continuation of that scene. And then we have this shot of Ellie watching Joel play the guitar. Now, one thing that I find very interesting is if we go back again to that previous trailer that I just mentioned, Ellie is wearing a different outfit. So it doesn't look like it's the same exact scene. And then we have this shot of Ellie finding this dead body on the ground. I think this might be someone she knows because she's like frozen in place. If it was just another infected person, she wouldn't react the way she's reacting here. And in the voiceover, we have the continuation of what Joel was saying previously, like a couple seconds ago in the trailer, where he said, I know you wish things were different. And he completes that with, I wish things were different. So this is, of course, most definitely part of a conversation between Joel and Ellie. I would be surprised if it's not. And then we have this shot of Ellie. This is from the previous sequence where she was frozen and she was looking at the dead body and then in the voiceover Joel screams Ellie runs for another infected person that was trying to get to Ellie and shoots the infected in the head and then we have this shot of Joel and Ellie together and then we have this shot of Joel talking to Ellie it's probably from the same sequence but Joel completes his sentence by saying but they ain't so I know you wish things were different so do I but they are not different. This is what we have to live with. So something happened. Someone close to Joel or Ellie died or something along those lines because they both wish it was different, but it's not. And then we have this shot of some infected and then this shot of Ellie. She drops her gun. She's in front of this gated door and there's infected on the other side. And then we have this shot, which is pretty interesting, of a clicker grabbing Ellie from the back so that's pretty interesting I think this could be from the same exact area as well or from the same scene I think this is still Ellie shooting the clicker in the head it could be the exact same clicker that we were just looking at now if you look at her face she's wearing a mask so she has a respirator on she's wearing that because of the clickers and the infected and all of that and then we have this shot of what seems to be like a town burning it could be the same town that we saw Tommy and Joel ride into but it could be a different one and then we have this shot of some people holding Ellie down she yells please stop she has some blood coming down from her nose so she's been beaten pretty bad and then we have this shot of Ellie from behind we see all of these cuts and bruises on her back and then we have this shot of Joel there isn't really too much to talk about there the only thing that I do notice is the chair that you see the green one was the same green chair that Ellie was sitting on when she was listening to Joel play the guitar and then we have this shot of Ellie obviously there's bruises on her face so this is after she got beat up and then we have this shot of Ellie, we know that because of the tattoo on her arm, but Ellie is grabbing a gun, putting it in her bag, and in the voiceover she says, I'm leaving tomorrow. So there's some unfinished business. She's going after someone. So she's going to 
go after someone on a mission to take revenge, most likely for something that happened. And then we have this shot of Ellie. She's riding in the forest. And then we have this shot, which I thought was very interesting. So she comes into this city. I don't even know what the city is, but there are some signs that are left behind or some graffiti. It says WLF, Transpassers Killed on Sight. I'm not sure what WLF is. Maybe it's a new group, just like the Fireflies. Maybe not as big, but smaller. But maybe they are related to something that causes Ellie to want to leave and go on a mission to take revenge. But not exactly sure what WLF stands for, but they're obviously some sort of a group, some sort of a cult maybe, something like that. Then we have this shot of Tommy talking to Ellie. Now, if you take a look, this is the exact same shot that we saw previously where Ellie was all beat up, like her face had all these bruises on it. So this is from the same scene. But Tommy in the voiceover says, to do this smart, will be leaving Jackson vulnerable. So obviously this is connected to some sort of a mission that they want to go on. But to do that, to do it smart, they will have to leave Jackson vulnerable. So that's pretty interesting. So that might actually be the reason why we saw that burn downtown. So maybe they do decide to leave and to do the mission smartly, but then at the same time, there's a repercussion. They're going to show up and burn the place down because they have left Jackson vulnerable. And then we have this shot of Ellie, and we also have some people who have hanged themselves. And then we have this shot of Ellie and Tommy again. This is from the same conversation. But Ellie says, so they just get to get away with this, or asks. So they just get to get away with this. So I think what this is hinting at is Tommy doesn't want to go, doesn't want to get into any kind of conflict or any problems. And as sad as he might be about what has happened, which we still don't know what it is, or most fans don't, but maybe as bad as he feels, he doesn't want to go ahead with the plan because he doesn't want to leave Jackson vulnerable. But Ellie on the other side wants to take revenge. She wants to go on this mission and finish the job. And then we have this shot of an explosion. It throws Ellie in the air and then she comes crashing down like we see here. And then we have this shot of someone pointing a knife at Ellie's throat. So that's interesting. We do see this guy later on as well. So keep this guy's face in mind. And then we have this shot of Ellie she stabs and cuts this guy's throat. Now it seems like this guy has like a bald head, but before we get to that, in the voiceover, someone says, how'd you find us? And I think whoever says this is part of the group that Ellie was after. But look at the guy, he has like a bald head. If we go back to some of the previous trailers that they released, there was this shot of some people holding this girl hostage and they were beating her up and everything and one of the guys or some of them actually had bald heads so i wonder if this guy is one of those guys and if these scenes are somehow connected is this cult that we see in the two screenshots that i've included the same group or the same cult that did something to cause ellie to want to go and take revenge are they the group that's named WLF? I don't know the answer to that, but I think that's extremely likely at this point. And then we have this shot of Ellie holding this girl hostage and she has a knife to her throat. Now, if you take a look, it seems like this is the exact same chick that was in one of the other trailers again. I have some screenshots included. So it seems like this is the same exact person, which is very, very interesting. And then we have this shot of Ellie. She's peeking around the corner. There's some bad guys coming in. Now keep in mind the red light because there's multiple shots of Ellie in some sort of an area with a red light. So keep that in mind. We'll come back to that. And then we have this shot of the same guy that we saw earlier. She still has a knife to... Ellie's throat but Ellie says you can't stop this so she doesn't think that they can do anything to stop her she's on a mission she's not gonna stop until she has what she's looking for and then we have this shot of Ellie grabbing like a jar and hitting this guy across the head I think this was the same exact guy that we saw earlier holding a knife to Ellie's throat and then we have this shot of Ellie stabbing someone else and then we have this shot of another person fighting Ellie and she hits her in the face with the end of the shotgun. So that's interesting. This is probably why she has the black eye in other scenes that we looked at. And then we have this shot of 
what seems to be Ali stitching herself up, maybe after getting a cut or getting a bullet wound or something like that. And then we have this shot of Ellie looking at someone who's been hit multiple times. She's obviously dead. It seems like this is the exact same person that we saw earlier. Remember, Ellie had a knife to her throat. So it seems like she's the same exact person. But in the voiceover, we have someone saying, I want what you want. And we'll come back to who's saying this and what they're saying in a little bit. But we have another shot of Ellie looking at the body that we just looked at. And then we have this shot of Ellie reloading her gun. And then in the voiceover, someone says, but not at any cost. So I want what you want, but not at any cost. And then we have this shot of Ellie pointing a gun at these two strangers. I don't think we've seen them before, but I could be wrong about that. And they slowly put their hands up. And then we have this shot of Ellie reaching out or ready to grab her knife. And then we have this shot of Ellie looking at someone. And then we have this shot of this guy who was in the previous trailers that they've released, but he says, I really hope you make it. This is the exact same guy that said, I want what you want, but not at any cost. So it's part of the same conversation. So he wants what Ellie wants, but he's not willing to risk it to help her. So that's interesting. And then he leaves and we have Ellie here who is completely shocked at what she's heard and she's just watching the guy whoever it was I don't know his name but he just walks away and then we have this shot it seems like she's in an underground train station and there's some people after her again pay attention to the red illuminating light but we have Ellie here she stops someone else and then we have this shot of Joel and Ellie together I think this could be connected to something that was in one of the other trailers as well where we had Ellie ready to jump in and then we had Joel grabbing her from behind holding his hand against her mouth and saying you really thought that I would let you do this alone if you remember that scene from the previous trailer it seems like this could be connected to that but then we have this shot of Ellie killing someone else and then this shot of Ellie and Joel again and I think this is from the same exact scene that we just looked at same conversation and then this shot of Ellie she's in an underground tunnel and she comes across this survivor so that's extremely interesting and then we have this guy slowly putting his hands up and there's some guards in the back that's interesting not sure what that's about maybe they're the people after Ellie or something and then we have this shot which is pretty cool we have this guy, she's ready to shoot, Ellie shoots something, and then the guy blows up. I don't know if he walks onto a mine or something, or whether she shoots a grenade at him or something, but he blows up, obviously. And then we have this shot of Ellie in an underground tunnel. Again, the red light, we've seen that multiple times. But in the voiceover, Ellie says, I have to finish it. So she's very persistent in completing her mission. So one thing I do want to mention, remember all of the scenes with the red light? I just put all of those together. So all of these could be from the exact same scene or sequence of scenes that take place. And then we have this shot of Ellie shooting this person with a shotgun. And then another shot of her stabbing someone else multiple times. We have this shot of her having someone at gunpoint. That's interesting. There's people pointing guns at her. And then we have another shot from a different angle of the same exact sequence. Now, going back to this scene, take a look at this survivor. That's the same exact person that we saw here. And then we have this shot of Ellie talking to this guy again. Again, the guy says there's a cost. He's very consistent with that. Remember he said, I want what you want, but not at any cost. So these are connected. And then we have this shot of Ellie and her girlfriend. We've seen her girlfriend in the other trailer that came out. I think it was one of the first trailers that came out for the second game so this is just a shot of them together and then we have this shot of Tommy hugging Ellie and then this shot of Ellie in the back of a truck shooting at some bad guys that are after them and then we have this shot of Ellie walking away from Joel I think this could be part of the same scene that we saw earlier we have this shot of someone trying to stab Ellie in the face with the knife and then this shot of Ellie killing someone and then then we have this shot of Ellie She's pretty angry. She's looking at someone. Again, she's in the underground tunnel that we've seen multiple times in this trailer. Someone says, we could have killed you. So that's interesting. So they had a chance to kill her and they didn't. And then we have Ellie hitting this person, whoever it is, across the face with some sort of a weapon. It looks like a crowbar, but I could be wrong. Now, it looks like a crowbar, but 
I'm just going to throw this out there. It could also be like a golf club or something like that. Now, the reason I say that is because a golf club is used in a very important scene in this game. And the reason I know that is because of the leaks. I'm not going to get into that here, but I just wanted to mention that here. But in the voiceover, we have a badass line from Ellie. She says, maybe you should have. So you could have killed me when you had a chance. Maybe you should have done that. And that's pretty much the end of the trailer. I know this trailer breakdown was extremely long. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to press the like button. If you are not a subscriber, make sure to subscribe to join our community and leave your comments and opinions in the comment section below. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.